I love this. Okay, hold on. I just inspect the crane room on occasion from now on. Inspect the crane room? What's it? Wow, your life's there. Chobin is no friend of high places. If you find anything, Chobin won't know if you took it, so take it. But don't take Chobin's treasures. Okay, Mia, Chobin's counting on you. Hello, everyone! My name is Mia Easyland, and welcome to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I'm so sorry, but I guess that Jovi is taking things from Chobin, and I clicked on it by accident, so that was the beginning of the video, but there you go. Um, welcome to um, episode 11 of my full playthrough of Pokemon XD of Dale of Gar Gale of Darkness. It's my first time ever playing through it. Um, but yeah, Chobin fully just ratted on Jovi. Last episode, um, we got to see the Mecha Groudon, um, and we are on a quest to try to uh, get our scooter to be a little bit more popped up and ready. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, leave a comment. Um, in the last video, I did also ask, um, which Pokemon would you like to make Mecha? If you did not answer it then, please let me know. Which Pokemon would you love to have a Mecha suit of? I would love to know. All right, now let's find Mackin. Wherein lay the weakness of my Robo Pokemon? Ah, Eureka! You found it. Next time I shall make a real Pokemon drive it. No, wait, something like that plan sounds extra... Oh my god. You child, that area is strictly privated. Oh, never mind. The basement R&D room is no longer home to secrets. You may come and go as you wish, but please try not to disturb Macon inside. Wait, is this an elevator? This is so cool! Hi, short friend. Hmm. So this is the Robo Kyogre that Cam and Co. has had on our development. He called it useless scrap and demanded that I haul it away. But you know, this is quite a well-engineered machine. Whoa, you give me quite a start. Oh, it's you, lad. What is up today? Mia's explained to Makin that she needs a new scooter. Hmm, Cypher is back then. I thought they'd folded five years ago, but they've returned. So you want me to modify your scooter for Desert Crossing performance? Well, you certainly are bold for for even considering to face Cypher alone. Fine, let's do it. I'll modify your scooter. Good deeds shouldn't wait. I'll arrange to haul this Robo Kyogre back to my shop right away. See you there. Woo, well, what a job that was. I'm finally done. I've converted it into a hover type, a hover scooter. So we've heard for the desert, go on, try it out. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, we're gonna check out the hover scooter and but I'm going back to the that Robo Kyogre we got from Dr. Kamehameha is going to be so useful, don't you think? I, th I don't think, I think it's going to be joking. I hope they don't get rid of the, Ro the Kyogre and I get to see it later. Okay, so a couple theories. I think the Kyogre is going to stay and we're going to get to see it later. I'm really excited for the Robo Kyogre, for the Robo Groudon, but I think the Kyogre will stay. I don't know. What are your theories, everybody? But let's head back. I want to explore, I want to explore um, Common Coast House a little bit and then we can go. I wonder also, is the... Is this an ongoing thing, looking for the Badoo? Not Badoo, Bonsley. All right, let's go explore the mansion. Who goes there? It's me, Chobin. Ah, yet another burglar. Chobin will put you straight. Chobin's the name, and Chobin is number one assistant. Chobin, are you doing this again? Chobin does not fight you every time. It, does he have a sun flora or a sun curtain now, though? Okay, it's a sun floor, so that's... Get fucked, top it. Oh, it's just you, me. As a possible you came to battle with my robot rod and sadly must announce that the modification work is not yet done. Oh, he's gonna email me when it's time? His attack is higher, but it's not terrible.
Yeah, that's the other problem. What's this? Oh, battle CD. Okay. Maybe I'll find a cool TM. Oh, the Groudon's still there, at least. Yeah, because Dark and Grass and Psychic are all special moves in this generation. I'm sure Shift Tree's better in future gens, but, like, it's not like I'm Nuzlocking this. Jovi's Diary? Top secret. The Pokemon HQ lab is a secret room somewhere. It doesn't look like anybody knows where it is. Jovi will find it first and make it a secret base. Don't make me read the second one. Okay. <clears throat> the robots under the room are made to look like a red Pokemon and a blue Pokemon. And they're supposed to work, but Jovi's not sure if that's true. Because Jobin says that Jovi can't take a ride. Fuck Jobin! Jovi bets Jobin won't let Jovi take a ride because they don't work. Jobin's a cheapskate! This is the greatest shit! <laughs> what a fucking bitch! She's like, they're like death machines, and she's like, Jovi wants to ride. And they're like, no, Jovi, you can't ride. They're dangerous. And they're like, it's because you're stupid and their fucking things don't work. Pussies. <laughs> okay, there's a secret room. Kara, do you know where the secret room is? Is the secret room downstairs? Or is there like a secret room I don't know about? <laughs> I guess this is the secret room? Which cereal will reign supreme? I get the battle CDs are cool, but I don't want to battle. I want to just play the fucking game. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, so that's exploring the... <laughs> that's us exploring this, so there's nothing more to do here. Yeah, we go to the desert now. Okay, let's see if our scooter doesn't fuck up. <laughs> Come on, levitating scooter. Whoa! It appears to be the SS Libra, the missing Pokemon transport ship. Um, I kind of have a lot of chills going on right now. It's literally just the SS Libra. It's... Everything's ruined. It's literally cut in half. Justy, Mia, thanks for being so patient. The pre-gym is finally set for reopen after the cipher. Thank you, Justy. I'm a little fucking busy. Mia, use strength. Oh, god damn it. If I fucked this game up. Oh my god. 
Who needs HMs? Like, I feel like this is, um, what is it, SSN? Does anyone remember the anime with the SSN? And obviously the ship, like, goes down under, and it falls apart, and it's very depressing. Um, and the anime is, like, that anime is crazy. This is, like, this is what I imagine if they kind of, like, wanted to have a story with, oh my god. After all I got to, I do to get here, we let go one we let one get away on us. Isn't that right, Snidel? Oh yes indeed. Such a lost opportunity, for it was very rare obviously rare. If only it had been caught. Well if you caught it, Gorgon, your collection would have been enhanced by zero point seven percent. Such a disappointing loss. It took off because you made too much noise, Gorgon, sir. I heard that. You're putting the blame on me. That's blatant insubordination. I'm in a foul mood today. No plain foul. Foul, foul. Today of all days. Oh, Gorgon, sir. An intruder. Hi. Ugh. That foul snaddle had to screw up. Somebody let this insider get in here? Our recovery plan's done. But we can't let you go. Not after you've seen us here. <gasps> That's the recovery plan. Is there... Recovering stuff from the ship. Hey. Yes, sir. Teach this little thing a lesson or two in pain. Aye, aye, sir. You can leave everything to me. You can be assured the job will be done while you return to the lair. See to it. Hot tits. He looks like if a frog and somebody who skipped leg day had a baby. Well, now you heard the man. You must get back to the lair, too. You know what to do. Wait a second. That's not what you said. Allow me to explain. You have a crucial job to do with the lair. We need to make shadow Pokemon from those that were on this ship. You do agree this is indeed important, do you? If you were to do the job, you would take 38% more effort than I. In that case, Gorgon's mood would worsen by 72%. You do agree that it is indeed more inefficient, do you? As a result, if you were to take this child on my, in my place, you would we would, we would be ahead 63% in terms of overall efficiency. You do understand, don't you? It's only for efficiency's sake. I'll be going now. Why do I always get the feeling that I've been had? Oh well, if I don't beat you here, I wouldn't be fulfilling my duties. You don't hold a grudge for this. Did everybody die? What? I lost? I can't go back to the lair like this? I kind of really like my voice for the, like, robot bitch. I watched you battling those downright bizarre people. You're, so, you, you're some kind of tough, aren't you? Huh, me? I just happened to stumble across this ship, so I made it my home. You know, there's, like, plenty of food and all. I have to admit, certain things bugged me, but nothing's perfect in life. I've got to admit, I'm glad that weird brunch is gone. I owe thanks to you for that at least. You must be tired after that battle. You can rest up at my place. It's in the wheelhouse. Well, did you get some decent rest? You're free to use that bed whenever you feel tired, okay? By the way, I've got this favor to ask you. See, every so often I hear these odd noises coming from deep in the ship's hull. I think there's someone skulking around down there, but it's too creepy for me to take a look-see. How about you go look? It's Bons- it's- it's, um, it's Bonsley. 
Thank you kindly. That noise has been really eating at my nerves. I can hardly sleep now. So when you're done investigating, I need you to tell me if you found anything. This is gonna be a lot. I think this shit, she, this is weird. Maybe when we get to the door. Okay, that's, oh. Oh, here's the puzzle aspect. You do this. Oh, hi, Walter. Welcome on in. And then you can do that. This is a, this is a nice puzzle. I'll tell you that this is a good puzzle. Fire. Open your fart to me, baby. Oh, God, you're fine, Walter. It's okay. Does it say pokey food? So it's just Pokemon food. I wonder if my Pokemon are freaked out by what's happening. I will say these the, these controls are very difficult. <laughs> like very difficult. <laughs> Do you get there? Ah, that's what it is. It's that. I hope I don't want to scare it. Okay, I'm gonna try to go slow. Thanks for letting me figure it out, everybody, because that is my biggest pet peeve. Is we were like, you do this! Hi, Bonsley. No, don't be scared. Oh, 
Oh, poor little honey bun. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Trying to click on stuff. Wait, yellow flute? What does that do? Is that I should like walk slow? I think it's walk slow. I'm gonna get ya. Akri, me, I would like to introduce you as main character. Please let me interview. I have a good feeling about the story. I might be generous with my thoughts. What? Startled by the mail messages noise. Oh, that was planned. Bonsley. Leftovers. Oh no, did Bonsley run downstairs? Thank you, Bonsley. Oh, you poor thing. I think we're gonna have to like run it down. This might happen again. It ran downstairs, didn't it? Then we gotta find Bonsley. Oh, the poor baby's probably terrified. It's okay, Bonzi, I'm here to help you. There's a little girl who's your friend. Bonsley? Bonsley? Shit. Bonsley? Oh, hey, so how was it? Was there anything down there? Yeah, Bonsley, but he ran off. I see, so it was a Pokemon. I'll sleep better at night knowing that. Oh, is that right? So it was a Pokemon a girl asked you to find? Oh, you say got away? Well, this place isn't a very welcome place for wild Pokemon to survive in. Why don't you try looking for it in places where wild Pokemon are apt to gather? Anyways, I'll be heading off for home now. After all, you solved what worries I've had. I'm surely indebted. Come see me whenever you'd like. You're always welcome. Is this like put Pokeball blocks down? Oh no, do they run to the wild? Bonsley, no! Poor Bonsley. That's my theory. Oh, let's take the score of the ship a little bit more. Jack! Never let go, Jack! Your fear. There's nothing to fear. Should I play it? Do you guys want music? How do I do this?
I'm an artist. Is I wonder where Bonsley is. So I guess it left the ship? Oh. Hold it, no one gets past here. <gasps> no! I'm whacking of Team Snagum. It wouldn't hurt you to remember that. It wouldn't hurt you to forget his name either. Silence! Huh? You? You don't have a clue who Team Snagum happens to be, do ya? Back in the old days, grown men shook when they heard our name. Sheesh! But that's alright. We'll get back to our snagging Pokemon just like the old days and terrify the world again! And we'll do that by using your snag machine! I'm good. Whoops, I know you're a great battler, but I'm not having any of this. Gloom! Release your sleep powder! Send this kitty off to Betty Bye! What? No! Yeah, the snag machine is mine! Quick, let's get back to the hideout. Ah, oh, can you imagine how happy Gonzop's going to be with us? No! How am I gonna d d d duel without my d d duel disc? How are you awake now? Looks like you had a rough time. Are you alright? Oh no, this is the low of the game. The bunch I saw, weren't they Team Snagum? Why would they want to pick a fight with you? Is that right? So they've been happening in the world at large. Team Snagum's a bunch of crooks and thugs. They were snagging Pokemon for people with Cypher's help. I haven't heard about them from the last couple of years, so I figure they fell apart. Guess not, eh? Anyway, it seems that, like seems to me you need to get back to that thing they took from you. I think they took off north chasing after a bunch of strange characters. Maybe you ought to go join the chase, too. It's right around here. It's known as Eklo Canyon. Now I have to knock them out? Oh my god. Oh. Okay, well. Um, I guess we're gonna have to end on a low note today, but... Thank you for watching Mia Plays Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Episode 11. Um, once again, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or join me live on Twitch, but... For now... We have an adventure to take part of. Thank you so much for watching.